Archcraft is a lightweight, arch-based Linux distro with a beautiful flat design and a clean, minimal look. It can run under 500MB of RAM and gives you more freedom with the chaotic AO support. We're going to do a fresh install here and explore its interface right now. This is the hello screen that we're used to. Okay, when you drag, you see that it shows you the pixels right there. It's nice. And when you change it, oh, so it tells you the resolution. It's still 900 wide. So we can't make it any smaller. We can only make it taller and it goes up there. Alright, enough playing around. Let's see what we have here. Get started. Launch Calamaris and launch ABIF. Okay, I think Calamaris is the installer. So let's go ahead and select that one. Okay, there it is. Wow, this looks really nice. This looks pretty cool. Alright, the location I believe is, is is in English, so let's just go next. America, Jamaica, that's right. Go next. Um, US, that's fine. Go next. Yes, erase the disk that I have. And we'll just create a name here. And that's fine, the password, create a strong complicated password and log me in automatically without asking for the password, definitely do not do that and use the same password for the administrator account, yes do that. Go next, still you what's going on here like the size of the partition tables and so forth, next, install and there. Alright, so we're going to let this bad boy finish its installation process and then when it's done, um, we'll continue from there. Giving us a nice little window here. It's showing us like the interface basically. Okay, join the communities, Reddit, Discord, Telegram and they're giving us like, the, the scan codes, the QR codes. Okay, this is a nice little, um, what would you say now, slideshow or a little video or something whatever this is it's nice it's giving you information graphics internet office okay this is nice it's open box okay so it has both open box and bsbwm all right so we're gonna let it finish here i don't i'm not sure how long it's gonna take but i'm gonna start timing it right now i'm gonna start timing it from this point onwards that we've finished talking and being that i'm on the video i can calculate the time for when it actually started so i'll just add that to this Alright guys, so it's done and it took approximately, let's see now, minus 7 from 23. It took about 16 minutes to complete its entire installation. So I'm gonna click on restart now and hit done. And he's rebooting right now. Okay, there's our famous verbal screen. Um, let's see if F9 does anything or F1 or something. Okay, F9 just totally hides it. Or is it gone? Or should I not have done that? Okay, it's back. It just looks like I wasn't, my mouse wasn't on the right monitor. I think it's up. It's just loading the rest of the application. All right, so we get our welcome screen here. Okay, let's just close it out and we are fully inside of Archcraft. Beautiful. Let's see what happens if we play music. Oh wow. Music is being played guys. So this is what I this is what I like the most. Okay, so I don't know if that music is copyrighted or something, so I will not play it. But that's what I liked about it. The music is right here, as I said in my previous video. And you have your memory here. 
the storage here and your CPU usage here. It's using half of my CPU at the moment. Well, I gave it two cores, so I guess it's probably just working. I really want to see what, how much RAM it's using now because it boasts about 500 megabytes. So let's just see if we have a top or H top. And it seems like Control Alt T launches the terminal. Okay, and we're using. Wow. Wow, guys. That's 336 megabytes. Wow. That's very good. Okay, so this proves that this is an extremely fast operating system. Close the window. Alright, so you know the drill. We're just going to go through everything that it has. When you click on your start menu, it comes up, up right like this. I like this. This is just simple and neat. It's a different style. I don't know. I like a lot of things. But I also don't like some things and if I don't, I'll let you know. So let's see what we have here first. Welcome to Archcraft. I think that's the welcome thing. I don't want that. Install Archcraft. Install Archcraft CLI. A different a different version of our installation i think i'm not sure right it's like a different installer all right so cancel that all right let's see what we have here now help and tips about let's see what about says oh it's a double click it's not a single click guys um about version 2022 version 4 i think it, i don't know if that means it came out in april i don't know credits nothing at credits okay let me just press the super key wonderful um alacrity that's the terminal firefox is our browser oh so when you scroll the mouse wheel within this application launcher here it basically jumps an entire page which is kind of nice Lunar. This is the file manager. Genie, what is this? Double click. I'm not remembering that it's supposed to be double click. Oh, this is probably like a text editor or a notepad or something. Okay. Vim is another text editor. Ranger. I think this is a terminal because of this icon right here. Um, viewer. I think, what is this? This is probably some image viewer or something. Uh, you're right, this is a picture viewer, an image viewer. Okay. Customize look and feel. We're gonna check that out. Open box configuration manager. Let's see what this is. Oh, okay, it's just a, a section within the themes options. Okay, that's nice. So here you can change the themes and so forth. The one that is in right now looks pretty much fine because it's dark it's fine for me uh, we have power manager here i think this is like oh nice something that you can use to control the power like sleep options and so forth display okay some of these options are just in most arch based distributions document viewer okay x archiver that's nice an archiving tool Advanced network configurations for networking stuff and Bluetooth manager for Bluetooth stuff. Disk analyzer. Gpart is here, that's good. Gpick. What is this? Oh, it's a color picker. Oh, nice. If you want more information on it, you can research it. Oh, wow, it picks the color anywhere. This is nice. This is a nice little tool. Event manager, I think this is a settings, a kind of settings manager. Let's see what it is. Okay, this is for the update. Let's see if I'm, this is for theme updates, right? Manage printing, that's for printing stuff. Neld or need, what is this? Okay, so this looks like it's some form of file comparison. Is this a file manager? File comparison? Okay, this is interesting. 
I'm not sure what this is for, guys, but if you know, you can leave a comment to help other persons who are watching these videos because I do not know. I can only talk about what I know about, and I can't know everything. So, let's see what else we have here. Um, Nvidia X settings, this is nice. Oh, so it gives you Nvidia settings? So let's just quickly check what Nvidia SMI will say. Okay, no drivers are installed. Let's just try typing that another way. This SMI. Command I found. Okay, so no drivers installed for it. All right then. But it has the settings, and I guess it picks up that you're using this type of hardware. That's not bad. Mm, okay, actually, this is the document viewer, as we said, I think. Um, Plank. What is this now? Okay, this one takes a little while to come up. What is it? Okay, so I launched Plank. I didn't see anything. I don't know what happened. Let me just try clicking on it again. And nothing happened. I'm not sure what Plank is. Um, I'll have to check that out. I didn't research that before. Alright, let's move on. What else do we have? Nitrogen. I think this is a background theme. Uh, let's check it out just to make sure. And let's just pick one of these. Apply. They have a Windows background. Not so fond of that. This looks kind of neat. Okay, so we have our pulse audio equalizer here. Pulse audio volume control. Pulse audio is great. QT5 settings. I believe this is settings manager, of course. Okay, we have time shift installed here. That's very good. And X archiver. Um, XFC terminal. XFC terminal settings. And YAD. What is this? This is the final thing. Okay. YAD settings editor. What is this? So let's change it and see. To bed. Save. I don't know what that does. I'm not sure what that is, but you can do other research on it. So that's basically all the application that Archcraft comes with by default. It's now using 1% of my CPU. That's nice. I don't see the store though. I'm not sure why. I guess you'll have to do most other installations from the terminal. There's a volume locker here. Okay, nice. You just... Oh, okay. So when you click it, it goes away. When you click it, it, it comes back and you use your mouse. You scroll your mouse wheel to adjust the volume. So I guess you will accidentally click it and adjust the volume if you should click out there. So that's nice. Let's just go through what the right click does because the right click seems like it gives you different options. So you, let's see now, web browser, text editor, applications, and I, it goes further to group the applications here, more about XFC, nitrogen plank, okay, so it groups the applications like this. So if you don't like this, you will definitely like this because this is just a lot easier, it's just a right click on the desktop. And system gives you like stats here for kernel. Wow. So operating system, kernel 517, CPU, the memory that I allocated to it, the battery percentage, the time that it's up 19 minutes. Wow. Okay, that's nice. You can put, I guess this pushes you to the lock screen, key bindings. Okay, so the dot means that you can go further in it. That's what these dots are for and this means that this is just selectable and it has no other menus so all the key bindings are here that tells you everything to do on the system wq to close w or wc to close depending i, I believe references open box menu style simple iconic you can change the menu style. Interesting, guys. Okay, so this is a very fun distro. All right, this is fun. I mean, I can you can literally sit and play with this thing for hours. Um, that's that. What's what's 
iconic oh iconic is what we were just on okay so on minimal minimal looks oh oh minimal in terms of minimal options interesting okay but that's making it a little bit harder for me oh for me to find stuff not really i'm gonna use this one because this one looks really nice to me let's see places okay you can jump to different wow this is nice you can jump to different folders and so forth screen recorder with audio with no audio this is nice this is worth checking out. So if I record with a screen, where does it go? To record desktop without audio. Okay. Start your recording now while being recorded. Okay. So how do we stop? How do we stop? Or is it not necessarily recording the screen? Hold on. Screen recorder. Oh, stop the core. Oh, interesting. Saved in what folder? View something? I didn't even see it. Okay, let's jump into Foo now and look at that real quick. Oh, right here. Wow, guys. This is this is A+. Well, it, it looks like it's kind of glitchy, but if... This is an A+, right now like literally i'm going to install this on hardware and try this this is an a plus no doubt let me see close down right i'm thinking if i if i put it on original hardware it will be fine that is an a plus it has a screen recorder built in guys with audio and without audio and it can actually record an area that's worth testing out. Screenshots, apps as root. Okay, so it gives you the root, the root folders with their themes and so forth, and no themes or different themes, and it gives you the application. So this is a exceptionally well polished distro. All right, different type of users because because this is Arch, so you will definitely need to do some tinkering. But why not go ahead? Test it out and see what it's like and let me know what you think of in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. That's going to be it for this video. Subscribe to the channel for more like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.